Good evening gentlemen, I am Kairos101 and I basically just wanted to make a short video about how to actually use the Strife Mod Manager. Um, so you need to go to mods.strifehub.com and there's a link here to download the Strife Mod Manager. Um, now this site will be used in quite a lot. I want to make this a series where it won't only just be how to use the Strife Mod Manager, that'll just be the first episode, but I want to also do how to actually make mods for it. So, this site can be used to see different mods, your mods, you can upload mods, uh, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, so in this video we just want to download it, so just click download the Strife Mod Manager and it'll download pretty quick um, because it's quite a small file. Um, and what we want to do is we want to put this into a folder where it's all on its own. So we're just going to call this folder um, Strife Modman like that um, and we're just gonna put him in there like that um, so from here we just need to run it if you can't run it you'll need to download Java because it is a Java program um, so you'll need to select your strife folder so I'll just quickly do that there. That's it. Strife. just like that so you just click on strife and then click open and it'll give you a bit of a warning because if you launch Strife normally, sometimes mods can actually become permanent in your game and you can't actually disable them. But I'll show you how to get around that now. What you need to do is when the mod man pops up, you go File, Create Strife Launcher, and it'll create an exe inside your folder here, like that. So modded strife.exe, what you do with this is you, you pin it to your taskbar or you make a shortcut of it and you put it on your desktop and you basically use this instead of your normal strife launcher. Um, so back to Modman, you can actually search and do everything you need to without going online. Um, so if you click search for mods online, this list comes up and it syncs with the website. So if you upload a mod to the website, it'll pop up here. Uh, and if one of these mods stops working, then it'll instantly be taken down and automatically. Um, so I'm going to download Pinkie Pie Takeover because it's really obvious. So yes, I do want to download it. Um, and I want to download Maple Cursor um, and Colorblind Mod. They're good mods. So then you go activate mods and you just click to enable all of them. Um, and then you can go apply mods and it says it's successful but I I would normally go yes to launch strife but I'm not going to because I want to show you what happens when you run the exe for the first time. So I'm just going to close this, everything's already applied. So you click modded strife.exe but you might get this message from Avast saying that um, its reputation's low because I made the program like a few days ago. So if you do get that, just ignore it, like it's fine. Um, so when Strife loads, you'll get this large picture of Pinkie Pie here and the Maple Story cursor. Um, so yeah, that was that was how to do this. Now in the next video, what I'm wanting to do is actually show you guys how to put another picture up on this, maybe a logo or Reiki CPK's face or something. So. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video if you're keen for that.